Let's now move to the 155 pound division for a highly anticipated fight. It's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt Patricky Pitbull versus former Bellator lightweight world champion Eddie Alvarez. Sempre colocava defeito em mim. Tem corrigido os defeitos. In this fight with Alvarez, I'm going to show the world that only the strong survive in Bellator. I always seem to get up for the most dangerous guys. That little tiny bit of fear makes you move fast, makes you do all the right things and stay focused and sharp. This fight isn't going to be a decision. Let me put it this way. Eddie Alvarez won't be standing at the end of this fight. He should have a great amount of respect for my power. I'm ready to go in there and have a, a dominant fight. You guys are going to see something that you've never seen before. Alvarez going for the submission. That is it. I have a very long memory. Eddie disrespected me in the past. That's why I asked for this fight. He's going to respect me, and he's going to respect my power. When he falls, I'm going to crush his head on the ground. Oh, big knee! The body is hers and all. He's in trouble. He's done. I possess the power to knock any lightweight out on any given night. I don't give a shit about a legacy. I care about doing the things that I know I can do and going out there and doing them in the cage and then beating the guy because of it. And that goal will never change. Everyone knows Eddie is one of the best lightweight fighters in the world. He's a former world champion. Tonight, I'm going to take his place in the lightweight division. This fight's going to be a war. Ladies and gentlemen, your first fighter ready to make his way to the cage out of the red corner, Bosley King. Patricky Pitbull was the Bellator season four lightweight tournament runner up and a quarter finalist in Bellator season six lightweight tournament. Jimmy, he feels that he has been guilty in the past to both wins and losses of underestimating his opponents and also getting far too emotionally involved in his fights. I agree with both of those. I think that caught up with him against Lloyd Woodard and Michael Chandler. I think against Chandler, he didn't expect Chandler to come at him the way he did. Same with Lloyd Woodard, a little bit of underestimation there. And he got sucked into a brawl by Lloyd Woodard. It's a Lloyd Woodard's kind of fight. It just gets a little too emotional. Well, I don't think that's going to be a problem tonight. I know he respects Eddie Alvarez, knows what he is capable of. And also, he seemed very cerebral the last few days leading up to this. I think he's ready to go. You, stand, you see standing right behind Patricky Pitbull, the younger half of the Pitbull brothers, Bellator's 145-pound season four tournament champion, Patricio Pitbull. Patricky Pitbull says that he has real respect for his opponent in this fight, Eddie Alvarez, is boxing but he believes that Alvarez keeps his right hand far too low, and he also said that Alvarez does not check kicks. Eddie Alvarez gets dropped in just about every fight he is in. The problem is, Patricky is a great finisher. He's not gonna sit there and watch Eddie Alvarez jump back up. He's gonna swarm on him if he gets him. As far as leg kicks go, I've seen Eddie Alvarez's kick game improve substantially in his last few fights. Let's see if it's improved enough to handle the attack of Patricky Pitbull. Pitbull says that he has really worked hard to evolve his wrestling game. He said, my wrestling has advanced a lot further than Alvarez's jiu-jitsu has. Now he's going to be hard for Pitbull. I mean, uh, Eddie's going to have a lot of trouble catching Pitbull. He's going to be hurt pretty bad. You know, maybe catch a rear naked, some kind of opportunistic submission, like a guillotine rear naked on a guy who's hurt. It's going to be hard for him to beat Pitbull in a submission battle. But Pitbull showed a vulnerability to wrestling. Eddie's a good wrestler. Right up there, Mateus. Right up there, Pitbull.
And now his opponent ready to make his way to the cage out of the blue corner, Eddie Alvarez. Bellator's first ever lightweight world champion, Eddie Alvarez, lost his title November of last year by way of fourth round submission versus Michael Chandler. Jimmy, you and I have commentated together approximately 1,500 pro MMA fights. That may have been the greatest that you and I have ever called. Yeah, certainly is the greatest one I've ever had the privilege of calling a great fight back and forth. Eddie just got caught in that fourth round. And it seemed to, and he had Chandler done in that third round. He came out like he was shot out of a cannon in that fourth round. He was taken by surprise, but I think he learned a lot in that fight. And he rebounded well, blasted Shinya Aoki in the first round. That's a top 10 guy that had beaten him before, so his head is in the right space after that loss to Chandler. Alvarez coming to this fight extremely calm, extremely focused. He said quite simply, I have no excuses. Alvarez surmised Pitbull's game like this. Extremely explosive, fates badly after round one. It's true, in his fight against Razor Rob McCullough, almost finished Rob in the opening round, then Rob started coming back in rounds two and three. Michael Chandler wore Patricky uh, down very well in his decision victory over Pitbull, so I think he has a solid point in both cases. Jimmy, here we go with our tale of the tape. Now look at the records of both fighters. 10 and three for Patricky Pitbull, 23 and three for Eddie Alvarez. He's more experienced and he's fought in much bigger fights, a lot more bigger fights than Patricky Pitbull. Let's send it back now to Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen from the Coliseum here at Caesars Windsor, Bellator Fighting Championships now presents three five-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Brought to you by Dishonored in stores now for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. Revenge solves everything. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first fighting out of the red corner at five foot eight, the elder of the Pitbull brothers weighed in at 154 and three quarter pounds. One of MMA's most explosive finishers tonight. He stands with 10 professional victories, three defeats, hailing from Natal Rio Grande do Norte, Brazil. Introducing Patrick Pitbull. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner at five foot eight, weighing in at 154 and one half pounds. The former Bellator lightweight world champion brings a veteran professional record of 23 victories, just three defeats. Widely regarded as one of the best lightweights in the world today from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Eddie Alvarez. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, referee Big John McCarthy. This fight is under the unified rules of MMA. It is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Elbows to the head are allowed. Fight clean, fight hard, reserve. You want to touch gloves, touch them now. Step back, start. Good luck. An absolutely massive fight in the lightweight division. Patricky Pitbull, you see him, he's in the blue trunks versus Eddie Alvarez, he's in the green trunks, Bellator's first ever lightweight world champion. Right, here we go, you ready? You ready? Here yeah. we go, the bell in round number one. Man, I am so excited for this fight. Who will strike first? Lots of fainting by Alvarez. He knows his advantage is speed both with his footwork and with his hands. Pitbull, the much bigger fighter, and he's gotta be on his bike the entire time. All feints from Alvarez thus far. First punch and that misses. Man, you can see the respect here by both guys. No one's rushing into anything. Alvarez to the inside, right back out. Big left hook by Pitbull. Asking me the question, can Pitbull handle the speed of Eddie Alvarez? 
Can he work his offense without taking five, six shots in return? Oh, here's left hand! Alvarez pouncing! Pitbull right back to his feet! Right in. Catches Alvarez! Alvarez circling out! Pitbull firing Pitbull's back! all over him now! He Maybe is he really hurt! He is really hurt! Phenomenal exchange! Man, both guys dropped! Knee to the body by oh, Pitbull and another. That hurt Eddie. We talked before about the chin of Eddie Alvarez. He gets dropped in almost every fight. Pitbull swarmed all over him there. He's trying to clear his head now. Maybe get a takedown. The key is he tends to recover quickly. Both fighters just locked eyes. Knee to the body by Alvarez. Counter knee to the body by Pitbull. Both guys need... Right now, Pitbull's the one who needs space. Referee John McCarthy just warned Patricky Pitbull, keep the knees up. Another knee to the body by Patricky Pitbull. The question is, who was hurt worse by that exchange? Get out of there. Knee to the thigh by Alvarez. And another. Because it doesn't look like Eddie right now is going to commit to the takedown. Don't grab the fence, Eddie. And they're separated again. Back to the center of the Bellator cage. Phenomenally explosive start to this lightweight fight. And Two of like, the most explosive fighters in the sport. And I was looking at Eddie's eyes when they were up against the fence, and he was hurt. His face looks clear now. They both got one another's respect. Faint on the head kick by Pitbull. He can't just throw one punch like that. And he's very, is a very good counter puncher. Got to throw two and three to get him off his rhythm. Alvarez is cut in the left brow. Steps in right back out. Alvarez keeps fainting with those level changes. Missed with the lead left hook by Pitbull. Side kick. That was good defensive movement by Patricki after that first punch. He was able to get out of the way and get his own offense going. You see here, he's turning away a lot from Eddie. That's not a good idea. Step in right hand. Big right oh, hand, counter right. Good right by Patricki. The weakness to Patricki's striking game has been his tendency to load up one big punch. Goes for now, he's kind of, kind of loading the right hand. Now the left hand, but he tends to throw one big shot. Eddie's just smiling at that leg kick. Eddie loves that, you know, angling right hand. He throws a right, angles all the way out, ends up on the other side. Pitbull trying to, you can tell, trying to time him, catch him with a big shot coming in. Alvarez. The blood from the left brow cut starting to bleed down into the eye now. Alvarez misses with that inside kick. Now you see Patricki's waiting on him, waiting for him to get in range to throw that right hand. He's not setting up his own shots with his lead hand. Good knee to the body by Pitbull, counter right hand by Alvarez. Pitbull again comes forward with the left hand. 30 seconds left, whoever puts it on can maybe ice this round. It's been very close so far. Oh, big hit! That's it! That's it! This fight is over! A knockout win on the head kick by Eddie Alvarez, just like that! Man, what a shot! I am stunned! A head kick took Patricki right out of this fight! Alvarez embracing his wife, Jamie, now making the run up the stairs here at Caesars in Windsor, Ontario. Patricki is out right in front of us. He does not know where he is. They have him sitting up now, but man, he is out any time that beautifully. A back and forth first round. Eddie Alvarez pulls out the head kick knockout, and that guy is pumped. And it heard with just two seconds remaining in round number one. The straight knockout on the head kick by Eddie Alvarez. Man, let's take a look at that first round.
You see here, Eddie clips him with the left hook. He's still very much in the fight. And bang, he answers back with a left right of his own. A right right to the jaw. You see here, holding on to the arm. He was hurt badly. Later on, end of the round. Man, caught Patricky looking down. That is all she wrote. Beautiful knockout by Eddie Alvarez. His wife, Jamie, absolutely elated on the finish. Shortly thereafter, she was embraced by her husband, Eddie Alvarez, who then had one of the greatest celebrations I've ever seen in this sport. That was one of the greatest head kick knockouts I've seen in this sport. Devastating. Great night for Eddie Alvarez. We knew this would be an exciting fight. We knew that there was a high possibility one guy would get knocked out, and it's Eddie with the knockout win. Jimmy, at the top of our broadcast, you and I said it. Two incredibly explosive fighters, two incredibly explosive strikers. And it was a head kick that did it. We knew Eddie could box. Got kicking skills as well. Man, that was beautiful. Caught Patricky moving the wrong direction, went right into that kick. Tonight's fight replay is brought to you by Dishonored in stores now. Revenge solves everything. And what other replay could you show? Look at this. Caught him leaning to his left. That kick put him right out. That is it. Watch the right hand to follow. Right on the chin. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean anything at all. He was out when, as soon as it hit him. Completely agree, Jimmy. Just the presence of mind, though, of Alvarez to continue to follow through with the right hand, but it was fatal complete. Both, guys, Both guys are great finishers. Mike, Kumar, yeah. everybody, Coach Henry, Coach Bobby. Eddie Bobby. Alvarez, Bellator's everybody first ever lightweight world champion. Happy birthday, now 24 and three. For you, baby. Philadelphia, that's it, baby. All smiles from Jamie Alvarez. Oh my God. Here's Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the end comes officially four minutes, 54 seconds into round number one. The winner by knockout, Eddie Alvarez. Here's Jimmy Smith. And here's your winner, Eddie Alvarez. Eddie, you had a ton of respect for Pitbull coming into this fight. He rocked you early. You came back. What are your thoughts on a round and a fight like that? Uh, it was only right. Uh, I have a ton of respect for Pitbull. Uh, you had two of the most exciting lightweights in the world right here in this cage tonight. And uh, thank you, Canada, for bringing it the way you guys did tonight. You jumped out of the cage, hugged your wife emotionally. What does this mean mean for you as a fighter, my man? Uh, none. It's just another win, man. That's all it is. The, the goal never changes. It's always to beat the guy in front of you in front of the cage. No legacies, no, no anything, no money. It's all bullshit. It's about beating the guy in front of you, and that's what I'm here for. Now, tell me, with that right hand, how badly hurt were you in that first round? Were you with it the entire time? Tell me about it. Tell me about that recovery. I don't know, man. It happens to me every fight. We, you know, Mo, my boxing trainer, we work on it and work on it and work on it. it just, I, I, I don't know. It's just something I'm learning to deal with and learning to embrace it rather than try to resist it. It's one of those things. It's not how you get knocked down. It's how you get up, Eddie Alvarez. Thank you, guys, the Black Zillions, Coach Mario, and everybody down in Florida and Philadelphia. And tonight's my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Coach. You heard it. Eddie Alvarez, give it up for him, Canada. As so often is the case in Bellator, a huge fight lives up to the expectations and even exceeds the lofty expectations. That was a phenomenal one-round fight, ended by Eddie Alvarez with the head kick knockout. Eddie Alvarez, a huge left hand, look to finish the jackhammer right hand. Presence of mind by Patricky Pitbull, following them, trying to finish Eddie Alvarez, Jimmy, with the left and the right. Man, that is an Eddie Alvarez fight. Dropped, comes back, gets a knockout of his own right here. Bang! Right on the chin. It's just a beautiful performance. Beautiful performance by Eddie Alvarez. Man! That is championship knockout ability. Eddie Alvarez is a real deal. 
phenomenal performance by Eddie Alvarez. Jimmy, we talked about it. It was a night of first round finishes, and we got one from Eddie Alvarez versus Patricky Pitbull to close the night. As a fight fan, these are the kind of cards and performances you want. Bellator tonight delivered in every fight. An absolutely phenomenal fight and a phenomenal win for Eddie Alvarez and a great night in the quarterfinal round of the featherweight